What's up everybody, this is Wolf and the Guns here and we're gonna play some Skyrims. How's it going everybody? Let's do some Let's Play Skyrim. I know this has been done to death, but I wanna do it. And today what we're gonna make is an all melee orc. Just meat and potatoes, just straightforward, no magic. <clears throat> just pure nastiness. Let us begin. Okay, alright. I'm gonna kinda of go off the design I always do. It's kind of a Ganondorf look, you know, from Zelda. Kinda of like to start with that. That handsome face there. <clears throat> Skin tone, I have the uh, extended sliders mod. Which is really cool if you really want to get really weird with the, the custom colors. I mean, you can make them purple if you wanted, you know. Look at that. You know, a purple orc just really flamboyant, you know. But I don't want to do that. I want to do green, which they have preset greens, but I want to be able to pick my own green. I don't want them to be Hulk green, but I do kind of want a... It might be more of a... Yeah, like that. That's kind of what I'm looking for there. Um, his weight, definitely the biggest... I mean, he is supposed to be the nastiest. I just want him to be really nasty. Right now, I'm not worried about war paint. I just want to focus on his features right now. I think that one was pretty good. I don't know. I kind of like the squinting look. Go ahead and lower that a little bit. Let's see here. Maybe I'll do... I was thinking like yellow. Kind of like Ganondorf. I think he has yellow eyes. He might have red eyes, but I don't know. I kind of like yellow. Let's jump on the hair. Oh, geez. Those don't fit at all. Usually, I like to stick with the vanilla Skyrim when I do an orc because it's just more rugged looking and kind of fits his look. <clears throat> I don't like that or that. Let's do... I like something along these lines. I think this is what I'm going to go with right there. Facial hair, I kind of like him to have like some, almost like a beard, like a, something like that is kind of what I like with him. And once again, extended sliders mod, get some really fun hair. I'm going to do like, I kind of want to do orange like Ganondorf. I think that looks pretty good. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I just want people to troll me and go, no, that's terrible. That's really terrible. But like I said, I am kind of doing a Ganondorf-y style. Not, I mean, I'm not trying to make a Ganondorf completely, but I kind of like the orange and the green hair, kind of. So, I don't know. It gives him a unique look. I don't know if I quite like that shade. Let me kind of go more red. Maybe back here a little bit. That's, like, ridiculously... No, that's too... That looks funny. <clears throat> Getting closer to what I want. Kind of go more towards orange, but... Mm, that's too red. Let's move this slider. you got to be real careful when you move the slider on this mod. Okay, kind of like... Kind of like that right there. I think that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to roll with that. Um, let's see here. The eyebrows. I forget if I like the spikes or not. Something like that, maybe. Move the slider. Sometimes I move them back and forth real fast to kind of see how it changes drastically. The brow widdeth. Kind of like that forward I think I don't know that looks good <clears throat> let's see here nose that's too pointy for me it's an ugly dude man hmm Kind of like that. 
make it longer. Make it. Yeah, I think the li li the height is good. Let's do a mouth here. There's not really much more you can do. His eyes look worried. I don't like that. I gotta fix. Maybe fig figure out something different. Maybe it's his eyes that do this. I don't know. That's his color. Maybe that's better because he looks like he's so worried about things. And I don't know. Kind of like no eyebrows a little bit. This is where I would come in with like the eye paint maybe. I don't know. That's the eye eyeliner. I'll try this out here. I want him to be really ugly. I don't think you can really make a handsome work anyway though. I'm thinking I'm going to lower the mouth a little bit. It looks too high. Oop. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, I think that's a little better. <clears throat> I think the hair is bothering me now. I think i got to admit that. Change the hair color a little more. Maybe a little darker version of that. Okay. Maybe not totally Ganondorf, but that's alright. I'm not trying to make a Ganondorf necessarily. I like that. <laughs> Pretty nasty looking. I've done a red orc and that was kind of cool until it made me think it looks like a devil. And that's not what I'm going for. So it's like, no, I don't want to do that. So. Let's see what the chin width does. If it's big or not. Yeah, definitely big. Chin length. Yeah, I like that pretty good. Forward. Maybe that's a little too much. Let's see what mouth forward does when you work with it a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> it's a little overkill. Let's see here. I guess that's okay. I don't really want to change the lip color. I don't know, I kind of like that. He's pretty nasty looking, so that's good. I don't know if I should... Do like a white eye or something. Hmm. Nah. But we'll definitely give him some scars for sure. Hmm. No, race, nope. Let's be right here. Kind of like that, kind of like that right there. Probably that one. That will probably work. Okay. I'm not seeing anything else that I need to change. Uh, let's see what complexion we can do. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> More ugly is the better. <laughs> Just nasty looking. Go. All right. All right. Well, I think I'm done with this dude. Let's go ahead and give him a name. <clears throat> His name will be Gorak. Did I spell that right? I've done this name before. I think I had two A's actually. Yeah, I like that. It's different. Boom! There he is. Go ahead and bat master him. Oops. What bat master does is you can play around with everything. 
and tweak the stats, which I have done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit this game real quick because what I'm going to want to do is give him the bandolier mod, which is he carries like 700 weight. I mean, he can carry a lot, and uh, I like having that in the beginning, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. I just had to go back out and tweak some things. Um, there's this really cool thing you can do if you use a text file. You can insert console commands on that text file and type in Batmaster when you use the console commands here. If you type in Batmaster, it'll give you everything that's on that list. So like, you can add all the talents and abilities that you could do. Basically, it's kind of like cheating. But I'm not cheating. I'm. Some people might call it cheating, but I'm tweaking is what I'm doing. So what I have done is I have kind of veered away from the typical uh, race skill sets like um, heavy armor and, and magic and all that, you know. Whatever the orc was good at, I tweaked it a little bit. Um, you have those skills that they would have 20 in this, 20 in that. 25 as their big one and 15 and everything else and all the talents or skills now I have only put it in I've, I've retweaked everything into things that I want him to be good at like I'm not going to focus on enchanting I kind of want to focus on just straightforward just melee combat just kind of a guy I mean this whole character is going to be basically all about surviving and picking up what he finds and just doing all that and I've added a lot of mods as you can see I mean this is not the normal beginning where he's riding in a wagon and everybody has the same story this is called the alternate start mod and it's really cool <clears throat> what you can do is you can come here to the statue of Mara and you can come by a ship to Skyrim own property in one of the holds click that which property do you own and then you'll start out right there you won't start off like you always do but that's too boring one of my favorite things to do and I'll do this in a minute first let's put this on put all his see basically what these these mods do if you look right here or right here I mean carrying capacity is increased by 50 points I mean every one of these adds that many points to your carrying weight here Look at that, 700 right from the start. That way I don't have to worry about, oh, I got too much stuff. You know, some people might call that cheating, but I don't care. You know, and this is nothing. I'll get rid of those. Um, so, yeah, so that's what he's wearing. He's wearing all of it. looks pretty cool. Um, so, basically, what I'm going to do for him is his life is going to start. My favorite one. It's actually at the end. Or almost at the end. I was attacked and left for dead, which means you are. You start with nothing. You have no weapon. This is how you start right here. That's it. I, I do have all my my pouches and things. That's it. So I have. I'll, you'll be thrown in the middle of the wilderness. It's pretty awesome. But you probably don't want to hear me talk about it. So let's just go ahead and do it. <laughs> 